Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the configuration order video for my 2022 Shelby GT500. This is a very exciting one. Uh, much like the other vehicles on the channel, I'm going to go ahead and go go through the options and the configuration that I went with for this GT500 and sort of explain the ordering process, how I got the allocation, and my thought process with the particular trim color options etc that i decided to go with for this vehicle i guess starting out before i go into the configuration itself you can see i have the configurator loaded up here on ford.com it was kind of finicky so i'm glad i finally got it working i think they have something wrong with their coding and their website but i was finally able to actually get to the gt500 page um, nevertheless this car kind of came out of nowhere <laughs> as as we are, as they always do, and you sort of make an excuse for it. I think you, in order to tell yourself, or to give yourself an excuse rather, as to why you should get into even more debt with these vehicles, but we all have our own excuses. I put myself down an interest list for the GT500 probably about eight months to a year ago at my local dealer here in Michigan, Jack Demmer Ford. I have a great relationship, luckily, with gentleman there, one of my sales, one of my longtime salesmen whom I bought my uh, Generation 2 Raptor from, as well as an EcoBoost Mustang years and years ago, and also just an XLT F-150 that I used as a daily driver for a while. So I was actually out the other day getting a coffee with my brother, and I got a random call from him out of nowhere. This is about <clears throat> three or four weeks after I took delivery of the TRX. That video is up on the channel, the build, drive video of it up as well. But I was basically sitting in the Starbucks parking lot, and he said, you know, how's it going? Are you still interested in the GT500? And I said, you know, I said, of course, prob probably, you know, of course, knowing that I was probably going to be offered one. And uh, he basically said, you have about five minutes to decide whether you want this vehicle or not. Ford has given us one allocation of the GT500, but it has to be carbon fiber track pack. So you're automatically required to put the $18,500 carbon fiber track package onto the vehicle. They couldn't even order it as a standard 500. Um, and to me, that didn't really matter if I were gonna get these, if I were gonna get a GT500, I had already decided to begin with that I would not order it sans carbon fiber track package. So I said, can, can you give me a couple hours to think about it? He said, no, I need I need you to tell me the next five minutes. And well, long story short, I end up <laughs> going for the vehicle, of course, placed the deposit. And I get, basically gave him my configuration over the phone, which he loaded into the system. So they actually had to submit the order to Ford that day in order to let the slot stick with the particular dealer. It's a pretty, pretty crazy process, particularly with all the issues that Ford has been having with chip shortages, just being just allocating parts in general for their vehicles and the shelby has been hit just as hard as some of their other vehicles like the bronco and the the new raptor so i was very very lucky and very blessed to be offered this vehicle and i'm excited to bring it to the channel to produce some content and to enjoy it enjoy it this summer so let's go ahead and get into the build this is i think a, an absolute home run of a build not to be biased but Y'all in the comments can let me know what you think about it and what you would do differently. Um, see if you agree with the options I went with. And also let me know in the comments whether you enjoy these configuration and build videos. They obviously they don't really take that much effort to make. I just, I enjoy them because I spend countless hours, probably a lot like most of you, wasting my time on car configurators, most of which I'm never going to buy. But <laughs> nevertheless, I think it's a lot of fun. Starting off, um, one of the... This particular GT500 is going to be pretty special because it's actually, as I already mentioned, it's going to be carbon fiber track pack, but I actually got the Heritage. I was able to spec a Heritage Edition vehicle in addition, which is very special. Um, there is not that much information out yet from Ford as to how many of these are going to be made, but I've been told that they are going to be produced in very, very limited numbers. And luckily, I already have a clean... Basically, my order says scheduled clean. What that basically means is, is that they've allocated and approved 
the particular specific build that I've submitted from the dealer to for it. So they've approved all of the options that I requested on this vehicle. So I'm very lucky to have secured this heritage edition. Um, like I said, I'm not, we, I don't know at this time. I don't think anybody does whether they're limited in number, but from what I understand of the 350 R, or I think there were only in the, th in the thirties made of the 350 R heritage, which is, Obviously a very low number, very hard to get your hands on, um, and extremely sought after. They're going on, I think a couple of them sold on Bring a Trailer for around $160,000 over these last couple of weeks. So you can see what does the Heritage package get you. It gets you this unique Brittany Blue Metallic color, um, which is fantastic. You cannot get, you cannot spec a GT500 with Brittany Blue Metallic without getting the Heritage Edition, without being allocated the heritage edition or being allowed to order the package whatever the the terminology may be so it's an it's extremely limited color it's a new color for 2022 you're not going to see it on any of the earlier gt500s and um there's a rumor this car is only going to be produced probably maybe, perhaps one more year might go into 2023 to finish the builds off might actually end in 22 we don't know for sure yet but notwithstanding you have Brittany Blue and Metallic, and you also get a vinyl over the top stripe, and you have a a white side stripe as well. And you actually, you do have the option to get the painted stripe package, um, hand, hand, which is hand applied. And as most people know, it's, ten, it's about $10,000. And, you know, I thought about opting for that, perhaps for future resale value and so on down the line, but I just decided for the way that I'm going to use this vehicle just to drive and enjoy, I really didn't find the need to shell out the extra $10,000. I'm sure a lot of the garage queen type people who are collectors, you know, adding this to a big collection will probably go for that option, but I just didn't find the need. And I also sort of calculated in my head, given the supply chain constraints at Ford, that taking this particular vehicle off the line and sending it off to get the stripes hand applied would probably delay the car even further if, if it's not going to be delayed already. I have not heard anything from my salesman as of yet whether this car will be delayed, but you know, as I stated with the Bronco and F one fifties and other vehicles just being delayed along with many others in the in the industry right now, I didn't want to risk pushing it off even further. I really want to have it for summer. So there's Brittany Blue Metallic. I think it looks great. More importantly, I added the carbon fiber track pack. So the carbon fiber track package, you can open it up here. Um, basically, it gives you cup twos, but which are obviously super, super sticky tires. They basically throw up rocks everywhere. Um, you basically need a sunny, warm day <laughs> to be able to stay on the road. But when conditions are ideal, you're not going anywhere. They offer ridiculous amounts of grip um, both on and off the track and on the street but you really need ideal conditions our track package also offers you this rear mounted carbon wing which is the same wing that you will be that you will see on the gt4 racing series cars so it's actually plucked from the race car and put on the street car which is pretty cool and of course the biggest standout element of the carbon fiber track package are these Absolutely amazing carbon fiber wheels. Most people may not know. I'm gonna zoom in here and you can actually see the exposed weave on there on the gloss carbon. These are the same wheels or the same manufacturer rather that produces them for Ferrari and the same producer that makes them for the 4GT if you get the carbon series. So these are not cheap wheels. Um, I've, I've heard from a source that this particular package is actually, even though it's 18500 it sounds crazy to say that it's a bargain, but it is. When I heard that each one of these wheels individually, if you buy them aftermarket or if you break one, for example, they're $7,500 a piece. So you do the math, 7500 times four, it's much more than 18500 That's just for the wheels alone. So for Ford to be able to package these wheels in this carbon fiber track package at this price, I think is a, it's a great bargain. It of course adds or reduces unsprung weight, which helps the car handle better. Um, with these extra, with the, you can see the front canards as well are added onto the, this package a little bit more aggressive. In addition to that, 
carbon fixed rear wing. You really had a lot of downforce and it just improves handling and uh, overall drivability even more so than the base car. Excited to have the combination of the Heritage Plus carbon fiber track package. There will not be very many of these around. I'll be surprised if I ever see another one on the road. In addition to that, not, not as exciting, but I also added the technology package, which basically gives you navigation, I think a little bit better sound system. I guess let's open up the carbon fiber track pack just to show you, you can see everything that it comes with. So you have those wheels. Um, yeah, there's adjustable strut mounts in the wing that you can see up here. There's sort of bolts that you can adjust with an Allen wrench. It's got a catch can for oil, which is pretty funny. Um, instrument panel that's on the inside cut in carbon here's your exposed wing yeah no rear seats you get the sort of car racing buckets that you can put your harnesses in uh, the splitter wickers here on the front and wheel locks so it's a pretty comprehensive uh, exciting package it's cool that an oe comes out with something that comprehensive that can be used for both street and track performance driving i think ford did an awesome job Putting the package together, I actually rode in a Grabber Lime carbon fiber track package GT500, and I was able, I was lucky enough to drive a just a regular handling package um, Twister Orange GT500, and I couldn't believe the difference in grip just between the the Cup Twos versus the um, I think that I think that their Pilot Sport 4S is is what the what Ford offers on the non carbon fiber track package, but. The handling package car in general, I mean, I could not even believe the performance. I mean, it's amazing. It's to me almost absurd that you can, that you're able to purchase one of these vehicles just by having a regular driver's license. I mean, 760 horsepower, 5.2 liter V8 is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, if these end up in the wrong hands, maybe, maybe my hands are not the right hands, but you know, things can go seriously badly quickly. Um, but it's just a ridiculous amount of power. I mean, you think about it, these are more powerful than a lot of Koenig segs up until today. And, you know, power than every, basically every Ferrari up until, what, 2014, 760 horsepower. So the fact that they can sell you this in a package that's around $100,000 to me is pretty amazing. They can compete with the likes of, you know, Porsche, Porsche GT2 RS, GT3 RS, uh, 488 Pista, and sort of hang with some of these big, big kings around the track and on the street. It's pretty, pretty impressive. All with a warranty. So I think it's one of the best, the best options out there, right around the $100,000 mark. Um, and as I said, just the tech pack, this isn't very exciting. I won't go into this, but just sort of the better sound system there, uh, blind spot, which I, I like. Uh, I think that blue is absolutely amazing. Obviously the heritage refers Back to the 1967 GT500, which was, of course, finished in Brittany Blue, one of the, I think, one of the great colors that Ford's offered on their, on their Shelby products. The GT500, all of them, regardless of the trim level, whether you have the carbon track pack or handling or just base, they have this awesome active valve exhaust system. Um, you can see it's even on some of the, it's even available on the four-cylinder and so on, but in the, um, <clears throat> in the GT500, it's it, it absolutely screams. I think you have your there's a quiet mode which is actually pretty refined. Um, seen a couple of videos of it elsewhere on YouTube, and um, it, it's pretty it's pretty compliant. And it's 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 livable when you're just driving it through your neighborhood or through a quiet town, so you wish. But there's a, you can when it's in sport and track mode, it absolutely screams. I mean, and your your neighbor will hate you if you have it stuck in that mode for too long. And my neighbor already hates me between the TRX and the, the 392. He's going to love this even more. So sorry about that to him. But take a quick look at the interior as well. You can see there's the rear seat delete that I talked about in the package. There's the carbon. I almost said carbon buckets. Wishful thinking. It's a, not a GT3 RS. But I think it's a nicely bolstered um, sort of hybrid racing touring, touring seat. Uh, I enjoyed it when I rode and drove in the GT500, and I, there's no reason I won't like it on my own. So I think it's a it's a nice package. They're comfortable enough. Uh, also part of the carbon track pack, you have this sort of inner inner trim layer in carbon here. I think there's some there might be some on the sill elsewhere, um, and I believe 
just like my TRX, you have your unique uh, build number plaque, passenger side dash there, numbered unique to your GT500, which is pretty cool. And here is where you select your your gears out of a Ford Fusion, located right in the middle here. No, I'm kidding. Um, interesting, the Ford GT actually has this, and this is sort of controversial at first, but I think it actually works pretty well. You have your M button there in the middle, which helps you which allows you to switch over to manual in the in the Tremec six seven speed manual um, dual clutch gearboxes in this. And uh, I have to say the the gearbox I, I was super impressed with when I drove it. I we had a we had a family Nissan GTR um, some years ago that I was lucky enough to drive quite a bit and um, and of course I've experienced the Porsche PDK on numerous occasions and I have to say that this Tremec dual clutch it really is, is right there with the with those big guys taking a look at the total build here you can see the options on the side once again here's the Brittany blue here which is unique to the heritage edition package which I was lucky enough to spec um, combined with the carbon fiber track pack which adds all these extra track oriented goodies you can see here the carbon wheels the wing um, racing buckets, rear seat delete, canards, um, strut mount adjust adjustability, um, standard Brembo brakes, as you can see, there. I don't think I mentioned they are steel brakes, but they're pretty light. Um, from what I've read, they, they hold up pretty well and, um, when you beat on them. So, but it is a, it is a pretty heavy car. So I'm, I'm curious to see know how much I like long term how it handles around corners and so on it's a much heavier vehicle than say even like a 911 turbo for example which is not even the GT product Porsche but I think it, I think the curb weight on this is over 4,000 pounds if I remember correctly which is which is pretty pretty chunky see what the the 305 cup twos all around and from what I've heard from from people who own them and journalists say that the thing absolutely sticks and it just it defies physics even considering the, the weight um it really is a, a a true super sports car price here it's about one hundred and two thousand. um big chunk of that of course is attributable to the both the carbon track pack and the and the tech pack here but i, I think you in my opinion you just can't go without this i think it just absolutely makes the character of, of the car and just makes it it just gives it that level of performance, takes it to the to the nth degree with the performance you're looking for. I just had to have, and the, the carbon wheels are just too cool. As you can see, here's the uh, my 2022 Shelby GT500. Take one last look at the uh, the configuration here. Yeah, I think the the white stripes with this with the Brittany blue is gonna look really nice. It's almost like a Porsche Polar Silver, but with a little bit more blue hue added to it. It's what I was one of my favorite Porsche colors, sort of a blue silver. Uh, it was controversial in the 996, but I think it looks much better over time. I think it's been much more appreciated. So this is the 2022 Shelby GT500. Uh, I will be receiving the vehicle hopefully in April. I have a build date that was provided me to me to the day which i believe was somewhere around, i think it was april 14th last time i looked unfortunately i'm gonna have to get rid of one of the get rid of one of the vehicles to make room for this one i just don't have the room um at the moment to have all of them so i'm thinking i actually might let the trx go to have this in its place for the summer but i'll i'll decide on that in the coming couple weeks here but yeah very excited to have this gt500 was very blessed to be offered it. I'm looking forward to bringing a lot of content on it to the channel. So thank you very much for watching. Again, this is the PKF. Your host Preston signing out. We'll see you next time.